Hello everyone, this is Yash Saksena and I am back with another interesting and yet important piece of information. So stay glued to the end of this video. Today, we are going to talk about electronic waste management in India and welcome to Enter Climate. Electronic waste is topic that is always in buzz all over the world. Why? Because as electronic devices are being easily accessible and people shifting from one device to another due to the advancements in technology. Those devices which are left behind are called e-waste. Now let's get into the details of it. What is electronic waste? Electronic waste as known as e-waste is generated when an electronic or electrical equipment becomes unfit for the intended use or if it has crossed the expiry date. Due to rapid technological advancements and the production of newer electronic equipments, the old ones get easily replaced with the new models. It has particularly led to an exponential increase in e-waste in India. People tend to switch to newer models and trending technologies. Also, the lives of products get reduced with time. But the issue is left with e-waste management in India. So, what is e-waste management? Basically, e-waste management is a process to collect e-waste, recover and recycle material by safe methods and dispose of e-waste by suitable techniques to reduce its adverse impacts on the environment. The global e-waste management market was valued at 49,880 million US dollar in 2020 and is expected to grow to 143,870 million US dollars by 2028 at a CAGR of 14.3 percent between 2021 to 2028. The ever-increasing demand for and scarcity of rare metals has resulted in rapid rise in their prices. These metals must be recovered for e-waste or reuse in other processes. For example, 1 million e-waste mobile phones contain approximately 250 kg of silver, 24 kg of gold, 9 tons of copper that can be recovered from these devices. This also helps manufacturers produce lower cost electronic devices and gain a cost advantage over competitors. Most companies claim to have met their targets during the initial phase of implementation but there is no mechanism in place to verify these claims. According to the law, producers' responsibility extends beyond e-waste collection to ensuring that e-waste reaches authorized recyclers, dismantlers and their annual returns should include information on this. However, because there is no concrete monitoring system in place, producers remain silent on the subject. According to the CPCB, India has 214 authorized recyclers and dismantlers. In 2016 and 17, they treated only 0.036 million of total e-waste generated in India, a very small percentage of total e-waste generated, implying that the remaining e-waste was disposed of in the formal sector. So, how to start an e-waste recycling business in India? Let's talk about that. Research and gather more information on e-waste recycling industry. The e-waste recycling business is a little complex and capital intensive business. One needs to have a good knowledge of electronic items and as well as the recycling industry itself. Before starting, have a market study on it. You need to identify items that are being disposed of and added to local toxic landfills. It will help you to identify the electronic items that need to be recycled. Identify the electronic waste to be recycled. As an electronic e-waste recycling company, it is most essential to select the list of services that you are going to offer. The selection of items will largely depend on the products sold by the local consumers, electronic manufacturers and wholesalers. Some of the popular services that are existing e-waste recycling management companies are offering are as follows. Data destruction, asset management, collection of e-waste from electronic companies, refurbishing of old electronic items and resale, demanufacturing of unused electronic components and selling those as a scrap, reverse logistics, etc. Third, create a business plan. Based on the market research, it is time to create an e-waste recycling business plan. This business plan is extremely critical to long-term success as it works as roadmap for the future of working activities of the company. Some of the basic aspects 
your business plan must address are as follows startup and recurring cost companies from whom you are going to collect electronic waste your production capacity pricing strategy where you are going to sell the recycled material etc fourth step is to get the necessary license and permits check with concerned authorities what kind of license you need to operate an e-waste recycling business contact with the public welfare department of a city and take inputs regarding disposal methods and zoning requirements for e-waste recycling fifth e-waste recycling business setup Select a location for your e-waste recycling business establishment. It is advisable to select a location outside the city area. To get the license from PCB, you will need to have neighbors with no objections to start the work. Create a floor layout plan detecting places for scrap storage, disassembly area, delivery dock, office and separate space for separate hazardous items. It is important to have the entire necessary equipment ready before starting the operation. You will need to have a conveyor belt, cathode ray tube, CRT which is called as and weighing machine, vehicle for transportation. You can purchase this or you can start by having it on the lease. Hire experienced and skilled employees who know the job rightly. If required, you can arrange some special training for special equipments or materials. E-waste recycling safety measures. E-waste such as computer, printers and cell phones contain toxic heavy metals such as lead mercury and cadmium use safety measures in your work thoroughly to protect your employees health seventh procure e-waste recycling equipment crts tvs and screen amount for the largest share of e-waste hence the disassembly line plays a critical role in recycling process how much investment you need to start a recycling company the cost of e-waste recycling plant costs will depend on a lot of factors if you want to start with the less investment, you can set up a small scale e-waste handling facility and it will cost you around $16,000 including machinery. On larger scale, you can start by just $3.5 million. E-waste recycling business includes responsibility and collection and procurement of waste from various organizations getting the usable part apart, reselling and refurbishing the usable material, extracting valuable metals, plastics, etc. and turning them into raw material for further industrial use. The business of e-waste recycling definitely has a great future. However, to make it successful, a great deal of proper planning and execution will be required. In order to run your business successfully, you would be needing a few mandatory documents with you. For proprietorship, you will need applicant details along with the address proof, GST certificate or rent agreement of the premises or NOC, trade license, plant layout, etc. And in case of the company, you would need a certificate of incorporation and a corporate PAN card, TIN numbers and GSTN, MOA and AOA, authorized signatory and other than these, you will be needing a few certificates. Various government permissions and licenses are needed to start an e-waste management business. The extended specifications can vary from state to state. However, the basic specifications remain the same across all states. Here are some common steps you need to follow for your e-waste management business. To start e-waste management business and to get the MSME status, register for the Udyog Aadhaar. Go to State Pollution Control Board and request permission to start e-waste management business for the same. You are required to furnish requisite statutory documents. Also, you need the necessary approval from the Ministry of the Environment. Based on the foregoing, we can conclude that there are numerous items that must be planned and implemented in order to launch the e-waste management business in India. This includes staffing, transportation, vehicle and machine allocation. Commercial insurance and business promotion. The waste management industry is extremely capital intensive and require a large initial investment. Furthermore, you will have to deal with large institutions and some may take longer to repay you for your work you have already completed. Getting these documents ready is a tough job for us. This is where Interclimate rolls in. We are the leading environmental consultancy company renowned for its technology-driven solutions for a wide range of environmental licensing and compliance solutions. Our team of more than 100 environmental solution experts has been assisting businesses across India in setting up and registering their companies in compliance with the Indian environmental laws. So, this was all about the topic. For more such content, keep watching. Enter climate. This is Yash Saxena signing off.